<laughs> the defending champ now becomes the two-time defending champ. Ash, tremendous effort out there. You just continue to get better all the way throughout the week. Uh, how did you feel out there today? Yeah, it was a, a really solid start today. Really tricky conditions, and obviously never the way you want to you want to win a match, or particularly a final. And I I really do feel for Bianca. She just can't take a trick at the moment with with her injuries. And uh, I, I said to her at the net, it's just I think it's going to be the first of many battles for us, and and hopefully they're healthy battles. Um, but hopefully it doesn't it doesn't hinder our season too much, and she's back out here before we know it. You were using e each and every part of the court as you've been doing so well this week. Uh, a little tricky when you know your opponents perhaps a little bit injured. Does it change anything in your mindset? Yeah, it is difficult without a doubt. Um, it, it's just trying to, to trying to keep doing what you're doing right. Uh, and I think that it was really blustery conditions, really difficult out there on court level. And it was just about me trying to be precise with where I wanted to hit the ball and, and ultimately continue to be aggressive. You barely played it all last year. Now you've come in this year, second title of the year. You've gotten a lot of matches under your belt. Uh, how do you feel momentum wise? Uh, you have a long trip coming after this, but uh, you're not going home for a while. Yeah, we, we do have a long trip, and, and after our trip over, I said it can only get better from here, and it's been the perfect start for us, but which will hopefully be a long, successful and safe season, and uh, it's, it's a brilliant start, and, and now we're looking forward to, to getting on the clay and getting stuck into the middle part of the year. What does your, your schedule look like? Do you have any weeks off? Are you able to do some training blocks, or is it just matches, matches? Uh, a mix of both. Uh, I'm excited to get to Charleston next week. It's, it's going to be really uh, a beautiful place. I, I love playing in Charleston, um, so so that'll be the, the first of our clay court uh, tournaments and then we'll, we'll jump over to Europe and get on the red clay and um, yeah, hopefully the body holds up well. well. We'll train in between when we can but ultimately play as much as we can as well. Now you finished the tournament so you'll have a little more uh, freedom as the restrictions ease up. Will you get to enjoy the city at all? A little celebration perhaps before you take off? Uh, um, not, not for us, no. We're jumping straight on a plane tonight and getting to Charleston and um, into our next bubble, but you know what, it's we know that we're very fortunate uh, and very grateful as a playing group to have the opportunity to play matches and if that's in a bubble, that's totally fine by us. I mean, we're, we're safe, we get to do what we love and I think the tournament's done a fantastic job in, in creating environments where we know we are safe and we, we just have to abide by those rules, but that's no worries at all. We all know how uh, tremendously uh, humble you are. It's just so endearing lovely to watch you uh, winning so much and playing so well. Uh, Lindsay had mentioned the uh, list of names of defending champs who, who have been able to defend their title here and it's just quite an illustrious list. Um, you know, the Williams and, and Graf and so forth. Uh, your thoughts on, on being in that category with those players? Uh, I certainly don't feel like I've, I've earned the right to belong with, with such champions of our game, but uh, I'm just trying to, to come out here every day and be the best that I can be. Um, and, you know, for, for me to be able to first defend my first title is really exciting and for it to be here in Miami is really special as well. Ash, um, you, you've looked so strong this week and you, you've won some very tough matches coming through. Um, how do you feel at this point? You haven't played much last year, picking up a ton of momentum and steam um, on, on feeling as, as world number one as you are. Oh, it's, it's just about going out there every day and, like I said, just trying to be the best that we can be, trying to improve. Uh, we, we never want to um, stop improving, uh, whether it's by half a percent or one percent or one facet of my game. We always want to continue to improve every single day. Every time we get an opportunity to step out in the court, it's an opportunity for growth. So I think that's, a, uh, that's kind of a, a mantra we live by a little bit for, for myself and my team. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hurt us in pretty good stead uh, over the last couple of years or so. I just want to take you back a few days to earlier this week because uh, we saw you look so comfortable out there today and not too long ago you were down match point <laughs> against Kuchova in, the, in that first round. You hit that marvelous forehand up the line to save it. Um, how has sort of your uh, mentality and play changed from there until now? Has it just been a steady progression? Yeah, I think it has. Uh, I think it has. And I have to take nothing away from my, my opponents throughout the whole tournament. Um, each have been exceptionally challenging in, in different ways. Each, each player is unique and bring different challenges, of course. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been an extremely tough match every single time I've walked out in the court. And you expect nothing less at, at a quality tournament like the, that's being played here in Miami. So I think we're, we're just happy that we're able to, to get through this week, um, build some momentum. And whether it was a title or it wasn't, uh, I feel like it was always going to hold us in good stead going forward. Uh, we've had a chance to talk in the past and, and you have such a love for the history that comes from Australia, the tennis history, so many great names, so many world number ones. Uh, now that you've been world number one for quite some time, uh, is, is that a weight on you uh, of wearing that crown? Is it difficult? 
Not, not by any means, no. Uh, I'm enjoying every single second uh, and I, I'm just trying to be the best version of myself and, you know, if I can make one young boy or one young girl smile, uh, that's, that's made my day. So I think it's regardless of what number is next to my name, uh, I want to come out here and, and hold my head high, um, come out and, you know, as, as a lot of Aussies say, just, just come out here and have a crack. Uh, have a go, do the best you can uh, and I know that I've got the love and the support of my family and, and those close to me. Uh, just magnificent to not only watch you compete, but with that attitude, you were an absolute champion all week. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you continue this brilliant play all the way through this very long stint that you'll have starting in Charleston next week. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Appreciate Ash, it. Ash, thank you so much. Safe travels.